Oh, hello, good morning, Italy. Uh, my name is Ema. Today <clears throat> we're doing an eight ten focus history of food. Um, okay, I'll introduce myself. My name is Ema. I'm from uh, Dublin in Ireland. <clears throat> I'm working in Mayas Montenero in Milan. Um, and I've been in Italy two months, so two and a bit, two months and a bit. Um, and a fun fact, one of the reasons I moved to Italy is because the food is so good. So this is a great focus for me. I love food. Um, and I want you to tell me all of your favorite types of food and um, where they come from, why you love them. Okay, uh, so if you can introduce yourself in the comments, write your name, where you're from. Introduce yourselves. Ooh, you were can't spell cells. Okay. Um, where you're from and your name. Okay. Um, so I use the comments a lot. Uh, so I'd appreciate if you can write into the comments every time I ask a question. It'd be great because if you're writing in the comments, I can help correct you and you can learn English. Okay. Cool. We have seven people on here. Ah, Anna. Hello, I'm Anna. I'm from Salerno. Hello, Anna. Nice to meet you. Great. Um, were you on yesterday? I had someone from Salerno yesterday as well. <clears throat> okay. Francesca from Turin. Hi, Francesca. How are you? Great. Okay, get started anyways. Another one there, I think. No, Francesca, cool. All right, um, so history, food in this focus, activity, food quiz, passives, and famous food origins. Right, so um, a unique dish. What are the most famous dishes from your region or country? Uh, which is your favorite and what is it made from? So um, I'm from Ireland, Dublin in Ireland. Um, the most famous dish in Dublin, I um, can't remember what it's called, but it's like a stew with sausages and cabbage and stuff. Um, I don't really like it but um, it's a traditional food for Dublin. Um, it's made from sausages, cabbage, potatoes, kind of everything. Um, so tell me, what's your what's a famous dish from your region or your country, um, if you're not from Italy? Maria Pia, my name's Pia, I'm from Ariana, oh cool. Great. Uh, so tell me, what are you? What are the most famous dishes from your region or country? Put it in the comments. Okay. Um, the dish is called Dublin Coddle. So it's like a stew with sausages, potatoes. Um, yeah, it's okay. Um, but it's boiled potatoes, which I'm not a fan of. Um, Francesca, in my region, some famous and typical dishes are banya, banya keda. Uh, excuse my Italian is awful. So, um, I, okay, aguidi al verde. Okay, and wine, lots of wine. Well, I mean, wine is the most important thing, so. 
Definitely. Well, that's great. I can't pronounce the Italian, so forgive me. I apologize. Anna, pizza's most famous dish from my region, Campania. Cool. Hi, Mika, Mich Michela? 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 Um, I come from Bosto Arizio. Cool. Okay, wonderful. Um, and so we can, you can answer the questions as you have time. Uh, we can go on to the next one. Which type of food do you think is most well known around the world? Um, I don't know. Yesterday we got some good ones that I was surprised about. Um, one, um, Marikia, the most most famous uh, dishes from my region. The most famous dish from my region is spezzatino. It is composed by meat and potatoes. Sounds nice. Yeah. I mean, for Italy, the most, in my opinion, the most famous is pizza um, or like pasta. <clears throat> but there's so many different types of pizza and pasta. So I, and, uh, I think the most well-known around the world is Nutella. Oh, that's good, yeah. The most well-known around the world is Nutella or Nutella, I think. Cool. Uh, Francesca, the pronunciation is Banya Cauda. And it is a sort of soup made from garlic and anchovies. Ooh, anchovies. Okay. I will have to try it. I'm not a huge fan of anchovies. Because um, uh, they're very salty. I don't really like salty food. Cool. Um, okay. Most well-known around the world, we have Nutella. Where did it go? Nutella. One that I was surprised about yesterday is uh, French fries or chips. Like, if you think about it, there are uh, French fries, America, uh, chips, UK, Ireland. They have them all over the world. It's very famous. But it's only one type of food, you know. Um, the most famous dish could be, I don't know, tell me. What do you think is the most well-known food around the world? Most well-known type of food, okay? So type, maybe Italian, uh, Chinese, Indian. Okay, and in your opinion, which country has the best food and why? And uh, maybe spaghetti with meatballs. Yeah, it's pretty famous, at least across the Western world. <laughs> meatballs. <laughs> well done, Anna. I didn't even see that. Meatballs. <laughs> Meatballs, cool. I just assumed it said meatballs. Francesca. Okay, I've eaten, it's a nice passive for today. Um, I've eaten French fries also in Malaysia. I think that is one of the most famous foods. Yeah, yeah, like if you think about it, I think so. Uh, in your opinion, which country has the best food and why? I might go ahead and say overall, using all of the food for the entire country, Italy might be up there. Yeah, well done. Yeah, Francesca. Although... I think uh, Indian food is very good. Mwah. 
love Indian food. It's beautiful. A little bit spicy. Well, sometimes very spicy. Creamy. Oh, lots of vegetables. Oh, so nice. Beautiful. And there are so many different types of Indian food. Naan bread. Oh, I love naan bread. So good. Uh, in your opinion, which country has the best food and why? So I think India. What do you think? Pia, in my opinion, Italy has the best. In my opinion, Italy is the best food country. Okay, in my opinion, the best food country is Italy. Yeah. I mean, Italy does have great food. Lasagna, spaghetti. There are so many. And then gelato. Gelato. So beautiful. Okay, Francesca. The best food, it's hard to choose. In my opinion, every country has something interesting to try. I've loved the Southeast Asian food because it's simple and well balanced yeah yeah like asia or not asia um, like japan um thailand maybe vietnam yeah it's a good answer that's a very politically correct answer all food is good every country has great food it's true it's true though anna i love portuguese foods they eat a lot of fish rice we'll see uh, and vegetables. Rice. I love rice. Um, rice, spelt with a C. But yeah, cool. Okay, if you still have uh, an opinion, you can put it in the chat. I'll just move on. Um, so are you a foodie? Take this short quiz about food. Test your knowledge of the history of some famous dishes. So number one, ice cream was invented in China, Germany, Mexico. Uh, the English muffin was first baked in the USA, France, or England. When carrots were first grown, they were orange, purple, or green. Uh, chocolate was first made by Belgians, Italians, or Aztecs. And French fries were created in Belgium, France, or England. Okay. So we will, um, at home or wherever you are, um, write down the answers. Uh, so for number one, write down one, A, B, or C, two, A, B, or C. Okay, so I will read them one more time. Um, and I will tell you the answers in the next slide. Uh, so number one, ice cream was invented in A, China, B, Germany, C, Mexico. Two, the English muffin was first baked in, one, in A, uh, the USA, B, France, England. Number three, when carrots were first grown, they were orange, purple, or green. Chocolate was first made by Belgians, Italians, or Aztecs. A, Belgians, B, Italians, or C, Aztecs. Five, French fries were created in Belgium, France, uh, A, Belgium, B, France, or C, England. Okay, so hopefully you have them written down now. We'll see how you did. For number one, the correct answer is ice cream is A. 
ice cream was invented in China. It was made by mixing rice and milk to create a syrup that was then frozen. Okay, interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, let's see number two. Uh, two, the correct answer is A again. The English muffin was actually based, uh, baked in the USA before it was brought to England. Okay. So the English muffin is, um, is actually very American. Um, they don't eat English muffins in England, only in America. Um, it's like, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a little uh, bread. It's kind of bready, but a cake. Um, and they spread like butter on it and have it with eggs or bacon. Um, I never had one before. Um, yeah, it's kind of like um, Danishes uh, in England and Ireland and America. Uh, there's pastry called a Danish, um, but it's not from Denmark. It's actually from, um, is it from? It's from somewhere else. Anyways, okay. Uh, number three, the correct answer is B. Carrots were originally purple. The orange carrot was cultivated because it tasted much better than the purple variety. Okay. So, carrots used to be purple, but they bred them out when they, like you breed uh, cows and sheep, you breed, um, what's it called, plants too, right? Uh, number four, the correct answer is C. Chocolate was originally made as a drink by Aztecs and Mayans from South America. Okay, cool. Uh, number five, correct answer is A. French fries were created in Belgium, then made their way to France. Okay, so tally your answers, uh, add up, count your answers to see how many correct answers you have and put it in the chat and we will see who won. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, we have a north-south divide. I think the best food is in South Italy, Michelle says. <laughs> okay. Ooh, Francesca, so clever. Um, she says Mexico, France. And then purple because of anthocyanin. Oh, that is a big word. Anthocyanin pigment. Okay. Wow. Fair play. Let's see. Anna got four out of five. Well done. Which one did you get wrong? Mexico. Ah, Belgium, yeah. Oh, no, Belgium, correct, cool. Okay, Anna has four out of five. Did anyone get five out of five? Did anyone get all correct? Okay, we'll see. Three correct. Okay. So, uh, put your how many you got correct in the chat. Anna is winning so far because nobody else has said what they got. 
Uh, you get no prize, unfortunately. Maybe I will give you a, a compliment on your English. Okay. Um, I will read this paragraph. Right. Uh, a staple food. Pasta is eaten all over the world, but where was it first eaten? When most people think of pasta, it is immediately associated with Italy. But some would argue that pasta was in fact brought to Italy by Marco Polo in 1295 when he returned from China. Before that, it has been eaten by the Chinese as early as 3000 BC. But what the Chinese had, uh, had created were actually rice noodles. They were similar to pasta, but were made using rice flour instead of wheat. Another popular theory is that pasta was introduced after Sicily had been invaded by Arabs in the 9th century. Wherever it came from, pasta has become a staple on tables around the world. Okay. Um, any words you don't understand, put them in the chat uh, and I can help. Okay. Um, pasta has become a staple on tables around the world. So a staple, hmm, a staple, a staple is a, an important food, a go-to food um, that every household eats all over the world. For example, uh, pasta is a staple food in Italy. You have it with most meals. Um, it's very popular uh, in Ireland. Uh, the staple food is potatoes. We eat it uh, every day. Well, most people eat potatoes every day. Um, they are staple food, very popular. In, right in, um, in China, uh, rice would be a staple food, you know. Okay. But we do eat pasta a lot in Ireland and America. They eat pasta a lot too, Britain. Okay. Um, so, uh, find the passives in the paragraph. What tense are they and why are they passive? Okay, so this is an exercise for you. So read the passive, read the uh, paragraph again and find the passives in the paragraph. Tell me what tense they are and why uh, they are passive. So are they past, present, future, uh, simple, um, continuous, or perfect? Okay, or present, perfect, continuous. So um, I will give you the first one, so you have a clue. Uh, so pasta is eaten all over the world, okay? Is eaten is a present, simple, uh, passive. Okay, for passive, we put the object at the start of the sentence instead of the end of the sentence. So a normal sentence, um, I eat pasta all over the world. Um, but here we say pasta is eaten all over the world. Okay, so and the subject, the object becomes the subject, pasta uh, is being to be, the conjugation of to be for present, um, and eaten the past participle, okay? So find the passives in the paragraph, tell me what tense they are, and why are they passive? So in this sentence, pasta uh, is eaten is the most important part of this sentence, not pasta or um, the subject. So it is passive because the most important part of the sentence is the verb, is eaten, okay? All right, let's see if you've got some so far. You have one, you can put it in the, okay, Anna has it. Pasta is eaten, perfect. Uh, 
and was eaten. Good. Okay, so number one is eaten. Number two was was eaten. Okay. Uh, Michelle says, do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I do. I love um, ramen and um, the um, rice bowls. Not a huge fan of sushi. I like it. It's okay. But I prefer ramen with uh, noodles. Okay, Anna says pasta was brought by Marco Polo. Brought, yeah. Okay, let's see. Punches cuts well. Uh, had been eaten, had created, were made, was introduced, had been invaded, has become. Okay, good, so you have them. Can you tell me the t uh, what tense they are? And why are they passive? So tell me what tense they are and why are they passive? Uh, Anna has them here. Uh, were made, introduced, good. Okay, so you can identify them. Wonderful, perfect. Um, now can you tell me what tense they are? Okay. What tense they are. So, for example, is eaten is uh, present simple passive. Okay, so tell me what tense they are and why are they passive? So, uh, we can go with the first one or the second. The same as the first. All right, uh, is immediately associated. I don't know if anyone got that one. It is associated, okay? <clears throat> so if we take immediately out of the sentence, it is associated, is um, a passive, still passive, because associated is the important part of that sentence, associated with Italy. Okay, what tense? Uh, it's the same tense again, present, uh, simple, uh, passive. All right, let's see the next one. Okay, I saw a few of you got this one. Um, but some would agree the pasta was in fact brought to Italy by Marco Polo. Okay, we take out, was in, what, uh, take out in fact, because that is not important. Um, was brought is the passive part of that. It's a past simple um, passive, okay? And passive because uh, brought is the important part of the sentence. Let's see the next one. Had been eaten. Before that, it had been eaten by the Chinese as early as 3000 BC. Okay, uh, BC stands for before Christ. So, um, we are on year 2020 now. Year zero was when Christ was born. Um, and then 3000 BC is before Christ. So, um, had been eaten. Okay, what tense is that? Had been eaten. Before that, it had been eaten by the Chinese. Can you tell me what tense that is? Good. And how's it? Had been eaten. Perfect continuous. Past perfect continuous, but yeah. Good. Mm. 
<laughs> Francesca, yeah. The tenses are confusing um, and terrible. Past, uh, present, perfect, past, perfect. Good. Yeah, it's past perfect, continuous. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay, we'll do the next one, see what. All right. Um, but the Chinese had created were actually rice noodles. Uh, they were similar to pasta, but were made using uh, rice flour instead of wheat. So were made is um is past simple. Uh, it's plural were because um noodles is plural. So were made. Okay. Um, another popular theory is that pasta was introduced after Sicily had been invaded by Arabs in the 9th century AD. Okay. 9th century. Uh, okay. Um, AD is a Latin word. I think it stands for Latin words something like after Christ or something like that. Okay, so can you tell me the tense for was introduced and why is it passive? Michelle, I only got one. Okay, can you tell me uh, what tense was introduced is and why is it passive? And a pass symbol, yeah, perfect. And why is it, um, why is it passive? It is pass symbol, correct, very good, well done. Why is it passive? Was was introduced. Why is it passive? Exactly. Good, Anna. We don't know who make the action, who made the action. Yeah, perfect. Um, Francesca, is it not present? Uh, no, was, is, past. Okay, I think maybe there's one more, we'll see. No, that's it, oh. Um, uh, was introduced after Sicily had been invaded by Arabs in the ninth century. Okay, what tense is had been invaded? Tell me. Had been invaded. What tense is that? Password for continuous. Perfect. Yeah, well done. Great. Okay. We'll move on. Something a bit more uh, fun, sort of, not really. <laughs> okay. Uh, memory test. What can you remember about the history of pasta? Use the prompts to form questions and then. Ask your partner, we won't do that bit. Um, so which country associated pasta? Uh, what food created the Chinese 3000 BC? Where pasta created? Which part of Italy invaded Arabs 9th century AD? And where pasta eaten today? So uh, you use the prompts to form questions, okay? 
So which country associated pasta? So can you form the question? Form the questions using the prompts. So form the questions using the prompts. So, uh, cool. Anna and Marie Pia, literally the same time. Um, which country is associated? Ooh. Hmm. So you both have it nearly correct. Which country is associated to pasta? Not to. Which country was associated with? Okay, which country was associated with pasta? Okay, can you try the next one? Which country is often associated, it's fine, uh, with pasta? Associated with. Try number two, which food created the Chinese 3000 BC? Which food created the Chinese? 3000 BC. Okay, Anna. What food was created uh, uh, was created by the Chinese in 3000 BC? And uh, Maria, uh, Pia, you have the same thing as well. Yeah, perfect, correct. Uh, number three, where pasta created? Cool. Number three, where pasta created? Where pasta created? It's an easy one. Ah, uh, where was pasta created? Yeah, it's easy, yeah? Great. Okay, um, and last, uh, second last, which part of Italy invaded Arabs 9th century AD? Which part of Italy invaded Arabs 9th century AD? Mm. Uh, Pia, where was pasta created? Um, Francesca, you have a two. Where was pasta created? Where was, oh, sorry, I clicked on the same one. Where was pasta created? Yeah, I'm guessing that is, that spell check. Okay. Um, Anna, which part of Italy was invaded by Arabs in the ninth century. Good. So, and if you can do the last, where pasta eaten today? Another easy one. Francesca, which part of Italy was invaded? Good, you got it too. Well done. In the ninth century, AD. Good. Try the last one, where pasta eaten today? Okay, so for this, uh, the which part of Italy was invaded by Arabs in the 9th century AD? 
Okay. And the last, where is pasta eaten today? Let's see how you did. Yeah, he got it. It's easy, I think. Just putting in is the verb, where is pasta eaten today? Good. Well done, Francesca. Okay. Ten minutes. We'll go for Okay. Um, the future of food. What will food of the future be like? Will more genetically modified foods be used? Or will we have to return to more natural farming? Will urban farming become popular in your community? What is being done to prevent food waste in your country or in other countries? And if you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Okay, so we'll have a little discussion for the last last few minutes um, using these questions to help. But you can tell me your opinions, what you think um, about the future of food. Any words you don't understand, tell me. Okay. Okay, um, so I'll go on and do the future of food. So what will food of the future be like? <coughs> Excuse me, um, what do you think? What do you think the future of food will be like? Will more genetically modified foods be used? So genetically modified foods um, are GMOs they're called um, <clears throat> and they can they're a little controvert controversial um i think they're illegal in europe um so food can be uh their dna can be changed to make the fruit and vegetables and crops um bigger um, and more resistant to disease, so they don't need fertilizers. Um, but some, uh, I think they've been connected with some diseases in humans, like um, um, cancer, I think, maybe. Um, Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, Francesca, in eight, if eight billion people, okay, I'll read. Uh, in eight billion of people, we can't continue this kind of alimentation. Hmm. I don't understand alimentation okay uh, we need to start again to choose more vegetables instead of meat or local production yeah that's good um it is a problem people eat too much meat like if you eat meat i eat meat but um people eat way too much meat not as much in italy um I think you have more respect for the meat. Um, but like in Ireland, people have meat with every single meal. It's crazy. <clears throat> okay. Um, Anna, well, I think we will genetic, we will eat uh, genetically modified foods like foods and pills. Ah, maybe, yeah. That's like really far in the future. Yeah, but if there's, um, World War Three, or with climate change and the world gets destroyed, we might end up having to eat meat, <laughs> eat food pills to stay alive. Yeah, it's true. Um, do you think 
Will urban farming become popular in your community? Maybe not that far in the future. ODM will become more popular and also different products like insects and insect flour. Ooh, insect flour. Yeah, I know they eat insects in like Asia and stuff. Um, and it's supposed to be a good source of protein. But ugh, yeah, but it's all still food at the end of the day. Okay, I'm not sure if you mean GMOs, like genetically modified foods. Um, oh, I don't know. Okay, um, and number two, what is being done to prevent food waste in your country or in other countries? I saw a video on YouTube of um, a market in London where they were giving away food, leftover food from restaurants and shops to people to encourage people to use all of their food um, and to reduce food waste. But that is just one place, only one shop. Um, some um, some restaurants give leftover food to homeless shelters, I think, um, which is good. Or they just give it to homeless people to help on the street so it's not being wasted. Anna. We need to learn to reuse um, waste materials from food. Yeah, yeah, we need to re learn to reuse um, the waste materials from food. Okay, I think reuse the waste materials from food. Yeah, like uh, when you're preparing vegetables and you peel the skin from carrots, potatoes, um, you can put them in water and make a broth for stew or soup. Francesca, it's good the new habit to give people the possibility to bring home their unfinished food. Yeah. Oh yeah, they do, they do that in America. In a restaurant, if you don't finish your food, um, you they give you a little box to bring the food home. But the portion sizes in America are Huge. Yeah, and I like the skin of potatoes. Yeah, I yeah you can't really make a, a soup, but you could just eat the potato skin. Like it's good for you. It has lots of fiber in it, um, and I don't peel potatoes a little because I'm lazy but also because it's a waste of food. I always eat the skin on potatoes. It's nice. You could peel the potatoes and then roast the skins maybe and make like crisps, something like that. Or also, fr oh yeah, well, I was gonna say fried, but it's bad for you. But it's good. Yeah, fried potatoes, skins, so good. Yeah, definitely. Okay, uh, we're nearly finished now. Just a few seconds left. If you have any questions, um, you can put them in the comments and I'll answer them when I finish. Um, okay, Francesca, in Italy, we have just started because lots of people think to show that they are poor. Oh, okay. All right. It's a society thing. People feel like they look poor 
if they bring food home from a restaurant. Okay, yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, I'm gonna go. Um, I'll see you again next time. Thank you and stay safe. Okay, bye.